good about it. Um, you know, I think as I was coming here, uh, I didn't really have a great idea of, of what to expect, uh, just given that, that I've probably done more hard short course practices than I have long course. Um, so it was nice to come out here and, and try to try to work on some skills. I mean, I think if, if I had to go back and, and swim the race again, I'd I'd probably swim it a little bit different. But but that's why we do these meets to get some get some uh, some re, some race strategy data that I could take into the rest of the season. What would you have done differently? Probably would have pushed it a little bit earlier. Um, I mean, I think I, I swim it a little bit conservative, um, and, and kind of looking at the splits, it it definitely showed that. So so I would have pushed it a little bit earlier, kind of put myself out there and, and see. Um, see, see if I could hang on instead of kind of waiting uh, until like I knew that I could push it for, for the rest of the race. Yeah, yeah, so I, I didn't do the first stop of ISL. Um, I, I skipped the Naples part and, and I, and I kind of told them that right at the jump. Like the second I found out that that was the schedule, uh, having gone through this Olympic cycle once before, I knew that that was going to be a little too quick for me, so I, I took a couple a couple weeks off, um, you know, a lot a lot longer probably than well, definitely longer than the people that went to Naples, um, and then kind of leading into the Netherlands, um, you know, I was I was training a lot, but kind of through circumstance, my my sister got married, uh, one of my best friends from high school got married, and I was in both of those weddings, so that's that's four travel weekends. Uh, and then I did a, a little travel for myself and, and my girlfriend. Um, so, so I was on the road a, a good bit. Uh, I'm someone I love to work out anyway. Uh, so it wasn't necessarily swimming specific workouts, um, but, but I was working out kind of after two weeks of, of being off after the Olympics. Um, probably got in the water after three weeks, but it was, it was building up to it gradually. So. Probably about mid-September, I was I was back into doing the full schedule when I was in town, and then when I was out of town, just trying to find water where I could. Yeah, I honestly feel good about it. Um, I mean, coming off of ISL in November, I mean it, it was kind of hit the ground running from from that point on. Um, so came back, had golden goggles, and the, and then had probably a good solid two weeks of you know a little a lot of aerobic swimming, just getting in a lot of reps. Then it was Christmas, and I was I was up in Tahoe, so I got a little altitude hit uh, there. And then I went to Colorado, and that was that was pretty pretty aerobic. So I'd say December, January, even into February, that was kind of more of an aerobic phase. Uh, then I kind of integrated a little bit more with the with the college guys, got a little bit more speed going. Um, so I, I feel good about it. It's definitely a condensed season, but I mean I think when I look at what 2020 and 2021 was, we trained so much. Uh, and there's there's benefits to that in the following year. There's physical benefits to that. And I think there's there's mental things that, that aren't that great. Um, so, but physically, I think I'm benefiting from, from the 2021 season and, and, and hopefully that shows up this summer. Coming off the Olympics, uh, it's such an intense, eight days um, and so when when you're in it you, you have all these thoughts and and I tried to like write those down even if it's just like notes on my phone um, but but then you you get a week out after and and you really have have better perspective already so so I think where I'm at now is I'm, I'm excited uh, I'm excited for the next two and a half three years to, to Paris um, just because I I feel like I have room to improve uh, Dave Durden thinks I have room to improve, and and I, and I feel like I've got a nice training group at Cal. So so I, I like where I'm at, um, and, and I'm excited to to keep on trying to to push this forward and and see where I could take it.